What is up YouTube, it's the Colossus of Clout back again with another video. If you are new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. This is a uh, tutorial video. I'm going to be teaching you how to place an image on a pair of sneakers. As you can see here, I'm using my Sorol transfer paper. There will be a link in the description. I'm taking my image. Um, I've already pre-sized this image and um, I did that inside of my printer settings. I'll do a, a separate tutorial on that. Um, I'm just taking my glue stick now and uh, taking it to the back of the image and um, there are instructions on this raw and there will be a link in the description to that as well. So now that I've uh, placed my image down on there, I'm just going to cut around the image and you, as you see, I've left a little bit of space around the image and um, you will see why. So just to backtrack a little bit, on my Vans I've used um, Angelus Flat White and GAC, GAC 900 which is a heat set fabric medium just uh, so the the Sorol has something to grab onto <clears throat> so this is just chalk that's all that Sorol is and um, it needs something to grab onto it won't just grab onto the fabric itself and plus you just need a white base anyhow like anytime you're painting you know a pair of bands you're gonna want a white base anyhow so just keep that in mind and, and also they are taped off um, just because I don't want the chalk to go anywhere else than what I want it. So now you can see I, this is why I left that space around there. And so I could tape around the image because I don't want the tape to, to be on my image where I'm going to draw. attempting to um, place the image down this can be a little bit difficult because just how vans are shaped is it's just crazy sometimes so you it's it takes a little bit of maneuvering you know but uh, you just got to keep trying and you'll see that I um, end up I, I end up cutting some slits in there because it, it's kind of it just relieves some of the pressure and it, it it helps you just place the image down a little bit uh, better so just uh, keep maneuvering and you know make sure you get it on there correct don't just slap it on there you know just to get the the project done so yeah so right there I'm just adding those slits so that I can place the image down a little bit better you're gonna make sure that you want it down that you got it down as flat as you possibly can just for the the best image and again this is just a this is just a blueprint it's just a map like I assume if you're watching this video that you already have uh, you know some some art skills you know you're you're already an artist what this does is it just helps you especially if you're running a business this helps you so uh, so that all of your you know when someone orders a pair of sneakers that you have on your website um, everything's going to you know look the same you, nothing can look exactly the same because you know the, the colors will vary you know so really a custom is a custom because there's gonna be certain things that are always different in every single custom but you want the image to look exactly you know the proportions to be correct and, and this just helps you this is it just gives you a map so right now I'm taking my ink pen and I like to kind of etch around it because then I really know that it's getting on there don't just go go around it you know just once just kind of etch on there uh, kind of hard you know with your your ballpoint pen and that's what you're gonna need to, to use remember I told you there are instructions on this Sorol and this Sorol does come in uh, various colors like I have every single color of Sorol and it just depends on what pro you know what your preference is and what project you're working on at the time so this is a little bit time-consuming and and if you know the kind of how you know you're doing it right is your your hand will hurt and you will feel the canvas underneath underneath there so that's kind of a little tip to how I know that I'm, I'm getting it down there correctly. You know, my hand, I want my hand to, I want to be putting that much pressure to where I feel that my hand is kind of hurting. So now when I say this is just a blueprint, um, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, just because you put this image down there, it, 
I don't want anyone to think that, oh, okay, yeah, I have the, the image down there and, you know, now I'm going to be able to, you know, uh, paint, paint this, you know, the reason why I say like, you know, hopefully if you're watching this, that you have some art skills because painting and drawing are two different skill sets. I assume that you, you know, color theory and things of that nature, you know, light sources and, you know, how to, when I say color theory, you know, mixing colors and sources of light, things of that nature. And, um, you know, about, you know, line weight and all that good stuff. So just because you have your image down there doesn't mean, you know, when you paint over top of this, you can completely lose the image. If you, you know, if you don't have that skill set, then you need to start there instead of, you know, don't, don't jump steps. So that's all I can say about that part. All right, so as you can see also, I have stuff uh, fabric down into the vans and that just helps to get some support. Um, that's, and I stuffed that in there after I had put the image on there. So, you know, it gave me a little bit of flex so I could like maneuver the image on there. But you can also use like uh, grocery bags. I know pretty much everyone, everyone has grocery bags like, you know, that they save and store in their house. So you can use those in there as well. If you don't have any fabric, that'll go in there. That'll work just fine as well. So you're just gonna keep on going there on your image and uh, just go slowly, take your time. Obviously, I've sped up this um, the uh, the film, but um, you get it. Just take your time, and if you feel like you haven't gone over an area good enough or well enough, then just go over it again because you know you just you don't want to lift your sorrel up and you don't really have the image on there. So that 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 you don't want. This will be a two-part video. Um, in the next video, I will actually be doing the full custom, turning up the heat a little bit. These are gonna be super dope. They actually come with an accessory. So this is just gonna be a shop drop because right now I'm waiting on a, um, on a few pairs of vans for orders. So I, I'm, I'm always working. I'm always filling up my shop when I'm not uh, doing orders. I'm just waiting on something to come in. So look for that video. That one's gonna be super dope. As always, if you um, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to just leave it down in the comment section or you can message me directly, email me, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, I hope I've explained everything, you know, pretty well. This is my first tutorial video, so, you know, they'll just get better and, you know, as we go and more information. In total without me uh 
speeding up the footage, this whole process from start to finish actually took me, I think only about a half an hour. And that's just a drop in the bucket if that's going to save me time and it's going to give me uh, accuracy on my orders because I want each and every customer to be happy with the order that they view it online and the order they received. You know, you kind of you, you do want those to match up fairly well. Like I said, colors will vary. There's nothing you can do about that. You're human and no human hand can duplicate <clears throat> something exactly the same it just it's not a possibility so we're not robots um so just keep that in mind but this this helps you to you know move faster imagine you could do you know five ten pairs of the same thing you know just all lied out on the table So now I'm just peeling back the tape. That way we can uh, lift our image up and see what we have. Here's the final reveal. So this is these will be the results you will get. Well, just depending if hopefully you've taken your time and you can get something like this. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I've been able to help you out just a little bit and uh links to everything will be in the description link to my main website as well thank you very much please like share and subscribe